What if I told you this simple curve could predict exactly how a material will fail? I'm an aerospace engineer and a stress strain curve shows how a material stretches under load. Stress is force divided by the original area and strain is how much the material stretches compared to its original length. The first part of the curve is typically linear for most metals and engineering materials. This is the elastic region. If you stop pulling here, the material returns to its original shape. The slope of this part is called Young's modulus and it tells us how stiff the material is. Then comes the yield point. The point Point where the material starts to deform permanently. After this, ductile materials like aluminum or steel enter a strain hardening phase where the material actually gets stronger as it stretches. Brittle materials like glass or ceramics usually don't do this. They crack or snap shortly after the elastic region with almost no warning. The peak of this curve is called the ultimate tensile strength. This is the maximum engineering stress which is the highest load the material can handle divided by its original area. After that, we see necking, a localized thinning where the cross section shrinks quickly. This this is where the material appears weaker on the graph, but in reality, the true stress is still going up because the area is shrinking faster than the load drops. Eventually, the material fractures. 